Hello everybody. I'm glad to be here. Today I'm going to talk about key assembly. For now, I would like to discuss about this positioning control here as I'm going to show it by mouse. Here in this example, we are going to have reference plane A here and the reference axis B here. Here we are going to have this positioning control in order to control the position of these four holes here that are in the angle respect to let's say A and B. Here we are going to have this positioning control and this angle, this holes comes here and hit this axis B here. Distance from here to reference plane A is 20 basic dimension because it's position control and also this angle it should be in box basic dimension as you can see here by using this positioning control we are going to control the position of these four holes respect to a and also the angle of that respect to b In this example, I got it from, uh, from ASME, and in this example, it is from ISO. As we can see here again, we are going to have reference axis A here from this coin. And here, we are going to use the positioning in order to control the position of this plane, and also we can see this angle respect to this axis by having this position in control 0 0.2 respect to A. It means we are going to have two parallel surfaces with the distance of 0 0.2. And he here we are going to have this basic dimension 20 and this angle 70 in box to control the position of this plane respect to axis A. I hope the concept of positioning control is clear for you now because for all key slots we are going to use this positioning control. The third standard for for key assembly is BS4235-1. And based on the shape of that key we are going to use this standard for example if it is free or normal or close and interference tolerance for that key or let's say key assembly we are going to use different tolerances here we can see h9 d10 n9 gs9 and p9 and we are going to have these tolerances here as you can see we are going to dimension this way from bottom to bottom of here, from bottom to top of the key slot in hub here. In shaft, you can see how we are going to dimension it. Another standard is here ESO R773, again based on the shaft diameter and key geometry, we are going to have this table for that in ISO R773. Here, we are going to have another example. Just again, I'm going to emphasize, I'm going to talk about this positioning control for, let's say, key slot here. What do we have here? We are going to have reference plane A here. We are going to qualify it with flatness. And then we are going to have reference axis B here. And then we are going to have reference plane C here. In this situation, we can make this four plane here to make reference frame as we have discussed, as it is highlighted in ISO. I'm going to show it here. Yes, it is here. We are going to make this reference frame and then here we are going to have positioning 
we are going to have zero MMC here respect to A should be perpendicular to A and also perpendicular to B and B we can see we have modifier M it means we have this possibility to shift it because when we have here we need to have maximum material for B and then we are going to have this gauge here the dimension of gauge is let's say minimum because we have a hole here and we have maximum material condition for B in that situation we have this as it is highlighted here as I'm going to show it on right hand side this gauge is fixed and then we are going to have this possibility to shift this component because we have modifier M here here let's see this example I have this example from this reference as it is highlighted here here we are going to have two flow team keys here as we can see here we are going to have this dimension let's say the width of this key is 10 and based on this floating key as standard we can see we should use d10 and what should be the value of tz for positioning we need to calculate it what is the clearance between key and key slot the maximum width of key is 10 here it is highlighted with this purple color here this ellipsoid on left hand side and this is the maximum value for key width 10 and minimum value for key slot is 10.04 and also here it is 10.04 when we make minus 13 these two we are going to have 0.04 it is tz for this positioning here here we are going to have two keys we are going to have this formula in next example or last example for today we are going to have one floating component we can have more tz for positioning the same formula we are going to use it what is the clearance between the key and key slot plus the minimum clearance between shaft here i'm going to show it and half divided by two the same as before what is the maximum key with c it is 10 and what is the minimum width of key slot it is 10.04 10.04 minus 10 the same as before plus something more because we are going to have one key we can have more freedom let's say here the clearance the minimum clearance between shaft and hop it is you can see it is between this and that 0 0.025 and 0 divided by 2 you should consider the absolute value it is 0 0.052 this value comes here tz for positioning for now i would like to close this session in comment session again i'm going to talk about this key assembly whenever we are going to have fixed keys or just one fixed key or let's say if you are going to have set a screw one or two keys and then if you are going to have interference key what should be the positioning tz thank you for today i hope you enjoy it see you next time